Hello, my name is Niklas Trickel and I here present our work on a benchmark for evaluating long-term localization in changing indoor environments. Autonomous mobile robots are increasingly deployed in many indoor facilities, for example, to make warehouse management more efficient or to support human workers in healthcare facilities such as hospitals. One key component to enable robots to operate autonomously is localization, so to have accurate knowledge about the post of the robot within its environment. And while we do not provide a new localization algorithm here, but rather a framework to evaluate such, let's still look into how this is typically solved. In indoor settings without external localization infrastructure, localization is typically done by using the onboard sensors of the robot to gather observations of the environment and build an approximate map representation out of these. And this map is then afterwards used to localize the robot within the map, again based on the sensor observations of the robot. During this process, the map is typically not modified anymore, which assumes that the environment is static. However, if we look at the two example settings that we've seen earlier, this assumption is not always guaranteed because we can both have dynamics, for example, here in the form of moving people or changes over time in the environment here through shifting pallets around. This can render the map outdated and inconsistent with the environment over time. And we therefore need localization algorithms which can deal with such changing environments and are robust under these conditions. Therefore, we present LILOCBench, our benchmark, which is specifically tailored to evaluate the performance of localization algorithms in changing environments over time. Our dataset comes with accurate ground truth in millimeter range in a multi-room office scenarios depicted on the right here. And we furthermore provide a benchmark ch challenge with a server-based evaluation of localization algorithms. Our dataset is recorded with the mobile robot depicted here, which is equipped with three RGBD cameras, two 2D glider scanners, as well as wheel encoders from which we provide wheel odometry information. Our dataset furthermore comes with post ground truth, which we obtain from ceiling mounted April tags, where we know the position of each of these April tags in a single global frame. And then we use an upward facing camera on the robot with the fish eye lens to estimate the pose of the robot based on the detection of these April tags in the camera. To get the April tag coordinates in a single global frame, we use terrestrial laser scans to obtain high resolution point plots of our environment. And here we depict the accumulated scans of the whole environment. And from this, we can then extract the globally consistent April tech coordinates. This allows us then to accurately track the pose of the robot with the frequency of the upward facing camera and smoothly track it through multiple rooms, which would be relatively cumbersome to achieve with traditional methods like motion capture systems or laser trackers, which require a line of sight to the robot. Our data set overall consists of two and a half hours of duration, and we provide 21 sequences, which we divide into a train and a test set with non-public post ground truth. Besides our mapping run to build an initial map representation of the environment, we provide four different types of scenarios for localization. Static sequences, which do not have any changes compared to the mapping sequence, then sequences with dynamics, where we here have uh, moving people in the sense of field of view, as well as sequences with long-term changes, where we have rearranged furniture in the environment or additionally placed objects and combinations of these two aspects. We evaluated multiple baselines on the public sequences of our data set, which all used the 2D LiDAR scanners and our Monte Carlo localization approaches. And here we depict results from post-tracking experiments, both the position and the orientation errors. And it's quite well visible here that particularly sequences with long-term changes are relatively challenging for these algorithms. And to improve on that and stimulate further research, we decided to release uh, the test data of our dataset together with the Coda Bench Challenge, where one can submit estimated poses based on the test data from a localization algorithm of choice to the benchmark server. And the server then automatically evaluates the submitted poses against our ground truth poses. And then we keep track of leaderboard to rank submitted results based on a single score. And this score is just calculated from uh, the pose errors of the submitted poses. We furthermore provide a standardized set of metric uh, which provide more detail about the performance of the submitted algorithm on individual sequences. So thank you. Here is a link to our paper, the dataset website, as well as the Coda Bench Challenge.